please give a Richmond welcome to Mark Okoza. And now let's see our best of breed winners, starting with the Akita. The Boston Terrier. The Bulldog. The Dalmatian. The French Bulldog. The German Spitz Klein. And the German Spitz Mittel. The Japanese Shiba Inu. Followed by the Japanese Spitz. The Kazand. Followed by the Koikohanya. The Laza Apso. Followed by the Miniature Schnauzer. And the Schnauzer. The Standard Poodle. The Toy Poodle. The Skipper Key. The Sarpe. The Shih Tzu. The Tibetan Spaniel. And the Tibetan Terrier. Utility breeds are a diverse group. Here are the sturdy animals with as different personalities and appearance as the Dalmatian, the French Bulldog and Kazand. Some, like the Skipper Key and Tibetan Spaniel, are uncommon sights in the average neighbourhood. Others, however, like the Poodle and Laza Apso, have quite a large following. The breeds in the utility group are a varied collection in terms of size, coat, personality and overall appearance. The first of the utility breeds is, of course, the Akita. This breed was judged today by Jane Lilly, and she awarded best of breed from an entry of 10 to this dog, number 4328. The Akita Inu, meaning large dog, traces its origins back many centuries to the polar regions, from where Spitz-type dogs found their way to the northern mountainous areas of Japan. The largest and most powerful were used for breeding, and the Akita emerged some 300 years ago. He was developed originally as a fighting dog, but was diverted into hunting for black bear, wild boar, and deer. This is the best of breed Akita, 4328. Next we have the Boston Terrier. This is number 4358, a dog, and he was selected best of breed by Judge Barry Day from an entry of 69. Although he owes a little of his ancestry to the British Bulldog, the Boston Terrier actually came into being in the late 19th century in the eastern states of America, when in 1893, a mix of bull and terrier types produced the first pair of dogs that were to become the foundation of the breed.
the Boston Terrier, 4358. Paul Seal judged Bulldogs today and drew an entry of 114. From those, Paul selected this bitch, number 4443, as best of breed. One of Britain's oldest indigenous breeds, the Bulldog is known as the National Dog of Great Britain and is associated throughout the world with British determination and of course the legendary John Bull. The best of breed bulldog, number 4443. Four, four, Dalmatians were judged by Gail Levy. Gail had an entry of 72, and from this she selected this dog, number 4572, as her best of breed winner. The breed was very popular in Britain during the Regency period, and was known as the carriage dog, as he was used to run under or beside all types of carriages, from those of the gentry to the mail coach. He also used to run ahead of the horse-drawn fire engines of London, earning himself the name the Firehouse Dog. The best of breed Dalmatian, 4572. This is the French Bulldog, best of breed winning number 4635, a bitch. She was awarded this accolade by Baz Bosch today. A compactly built dog who, in spite of its name, is believed to be at least partly of British origin. He is a descendant of the Toy Bulldog, which was bred during the 19th century and exported to France where the breed became very popular. In fact, English lace makers from the Midlands who went to work in France took small bulldogs with them. This is the French bulldog, number 4635. We now have the first of the German Spitz breeds, this being the Klein. There was an entry of 18 for the judge, Ralph Enns, and Ralph found his best of breed winner in this bitch, number 4690. The Klein variety should measure between 23 and 29 centimetres, or 9 and 11 half inches, while the middle stands between 30 and 38 centimetres, 12 or 15 inches. Otherwise, the two should be identical in shape and characteristics. Interestingly, with this breed, there are no restrictions as to colour. The German Spitz Klein, 4690. Ralph Enns also judged the middle variety of German Spitz, and this is his best of breed winner, the Bitch, number 4717, from an entry of 23. As previously mentioned, the larger of the German Spitz, the Mittel, should stand between 12 and 15 inches, but not otherwise, is identical to the Klein. The German Spitz Mittel, 4717. 
Japanese Shiba Inu were judged today by Jane Lilly. There was an entry of 14, and best of breed emerged in this dog, number 4741. A relatively recent newcomer from Japan, the Shiba Inu is a neat, tidy, spit-style dog that shows every sign of becoming popular. Shiba Inu literally means small dog, and ideally, this breed should look like a smaller version of the Akita. The Japanese Shiba Inu 4741. There was an entry of 30 Japanese spits for Judge Roni Durgens. Roni found his best of breed winner in this dog number 4763. Yet another of the growing army of spits types dogs now being seen in the UK, this lap sized breed descended from Nordic long haired dogs. It was taken to Japan early in the 20th century and, after its arrival there, was bred to reduce its size. The breed was then exported to Sweden, where it was readily accepted, and in 1970, some were brought from Sweden to England. The best of breed Japanese Spitz, 4763. Roni Durgens also judged Kazans, and he found his best of breed winner in this dog, number 4788. There was an entry of 44. Known as the Dutch barge dog, the Kazan takes its name from the Dutch patriot Cornelius de Geisler, who was nicknamed Kaze. His dog became the symbol of the Dutch patriot party. This is the Kazan, number 4788. <laughs> Best of breed in Koikohondia was this bitch, number 4817. There was an entry of five for Judge Valerie Foss. The compactly small breed, which hails from the Netherlands, is blessed with a spectacular coat of clear red-orange splodges on a white background. His eye-catching coat is effectively used to attract swimming ducks and seduce them along streams into netting traps. The Koiko Honja, number 4817. Best of breed in Laza Apso was this bitch, number 4858. The breed was judged by Jill Peake, and she was selected from an entry of 39. The Laza Apso is one of several Eastern breeds to come to the West. The first ones arrived in the UK in the early 1920s and were being shown in London soon after. When they were first seen here, they were confused with other shaggy oriental dogs and all were labelled Laza Terriers. The Laza Apso 4858.
miniature shouts as were judged by Brenda Banbury, where there was an entry of 55. Brenda selected this dog, number 4914, as best of breed winner. A smart, small dog with a wiry coat, the miniature Schnauzer, which is of German origin, was derived from the Schnauzer, and it is believed, the Affenpinscher. There are in fact three sizes of the Schnauzer, the miniature, a standard version, and of course the giant Schnauzer. The Miniature Schnauzer, number 4914. Frieda Marshall judged Schnauzers today, and best of breed was this bitch, number 4925. There was an entry of seven. The home country for the Schnauzer is Germany, where the standard version filled many roles. Ratter, drover's dog, stock tender and guard in the house and stables. He was even used to pull carts to market, making him the all-round farm dog. The first standard for the medium-sized Schnauzer was produced in 1880. This is the Schnauzer 4925. It's the turn now of the standard poodle. These were judged today by Frank Groves. Frank, from an entry of 60, found his best of breed winner in this dog, number 4970. The French certainly know the poodle as a duck dog and use the smaller poodles to sniff out truffles. He is extremely versatile and excels in obedience. Indeed, there seems to be no end to this breed's talents. The Standard Poodle, 4970. And the smallest of the poodles, we have now the Toy Poodle. This is number 5053, a dog who was awarded Best of Breed from an entry of 43. The judge today was Jane Court. Interest in this breed was heightened by the courts of Europe, where poodles became very popular as pet dogs, especially the smaller variety. Early show poodles, however, were exhibited with a corded coat, rather different to the one we see today. This is the The Toy Poodle, 5053. Roni Durgens ran the rule over Skipper Key, and from an entry of 14, Roni selected this dog, number 5079, as his best of breed winner. One of the smaller Spitz breeds, the Skipper Key originates from the canals of Belgium and the Netherlands where he guarded the barges most efficiently. 
He was at one time also extremely popular with the shoemakers in his native Flanders. This is the Skipper Key, 5079. Next we have the Sarpe. This is a bitch, number 5112. She was awarded Best of Breed from an entry of 38, also by Roni Dersens. His unusual name is only the start of the differences from other dogs that the breed exhibits. One of the Sarpe's most distinctive features is the truly bristly feel to his coat, which may be black, red, or fawn cream. The inside of the mouth should be black in the darker varieties. The Zarpe, number 5112. This is P. Ball, Judge Sheet Sue, today. There was an entry of 87, and she selected this dog, number 5179, as her best of breed winner. The roots of this breed are in Tibet, but it was developed in China, where dogs like these lived in the imperial palaces. After China became a republic in 1912, examples of the breed found their way to the West through the first recorded importation, sorry, though the first recorded importation to the UK was not until 1931. This is the Besser Breed Shih Tzu number 5179. <laughs> Tibetan Spaniels were judged by Adele Summers, who found her Best of Breed winner in this dog number 5227. There was an entry today of 53. The Tibetan Spaniel was one of the first Tibetan breeds to reach the UK, arriving here in around 1900. It was a breed favoured by Tibetan monks and was brought to England by returning medical missionaries. It had established a firm hold by 1920 and really came into its own after the end of the Second World War. The Tibetan Spaniel, 5227. And now we come to the Tibetan Terrier. The breed was judged by Angela Draper Andrews, who from an entry of 95, awarded best of breed to this dog, number 5287. In spite of the name, this breed is not a terrier, but actually a herding dog, doubling as a guard for traders as they journey to and from China. He succeeded in his job not so much by size, but through the awe in which he was held. This is believed to be the original holy dog of Tibet.
This is the best of breed Tibetan terrier, 5287. This is a call for all best of breed winners in the gun dog group, please. May we have you to the collecting ring now. All best of breed winners in the gun dog group to the collecting ring now, please. And Mark is making a short list. We have the Tibetan Terrier, the Tibetan Spaniel, the Skipper Key, the Toy Poodle, the Miniature Schnauzer, the Kazund, Japanese Shiba Inu, now we have the Boston Terrier, number 4358. We have the Breeders Group for the Utility Group to ring five please, that's the Breeders Group to the Utility Group. For utility to ring five, please. Now we have the Japanese Shiba Inu, four seven four one. The Kazen, number four seven eight eight. The Miniature Schnauzer, 4914. The Toy Poodle, 5053. The Skipper Key, 5079. The Tibetan Terrier, 5287. And the Tibetan Spaniel, Marcus going to see them, them all move around together. Please give a big round of applause for this, our shortlist in the utility group. Marcus called for the boards. And once again, we're very grateful to our sponsors, Natural Instinct, who have provided both cash and product prizes for our group winners and those placed in the group. So thank you very much on behalf of the Richmond Committee. And the winner of the utility group at Richmond 2014 is the Skipper Key 5079.
in group two. It's the Kazen, 4788. Group three, the Japanese Shiba Inu, 4741. And in group four, it's the Tibetan Terrier, number 5287. A big hand of congratulations to our remaining shortlisted best of breed winners. Thank you very much. Congratulations. And if we might now have a lap of honour from our utility group winner, followed by the other placings. Please take them round, starting with the group winning Skipper Key. The Kazen. The Japanese Shiba Inu and the Tibetan Terrier. There's another call for all best of breed winners in the Dundalk group, please. Could you please go to the collecting ring now? All best of breed winners in the Dundalk group to the collecting ring now. 